Well, Murals in the Market is an international festival that really connects our community to art, and there are so many different artists with their own stories. We're going to introduce you to one. His name is Phil Simpson. He grew up on the city's east side, and he put smiling faces on the sides of buildings. When I first started, I started painting smiles over vacant houses just to cover up some of the, the negative cuss words. Just want people to, you want to walk past something that's encouraging. In general, man, murals are influencers to the neighborhood. When you add a mural in the neighborhood actually had input on it, they had, a, they had feedback, they feel connected to the mural now. So I'm born and raised on the, the east side of Detroit. And it's considered one of the worst, well, on paper, on paper, let's, let's say that. My friends and I don't ever want that to be the narrative for, our, for where we come from. So we do a lot of work in the community. The mural I did on Milwaukee and Hastings, what made it a favorite is that on Hastings Street, my granddad used to live in that neighborhood before the freeway was built. He was the first person I took to see the mural when it got done. Some people find what they love in their 20s. I've been doing this since like 10, you know? Art has always been my thing. And uh, now it's, I'm finding a way to provide for my family with art. So now it's like, it's really my life now. We're gonna have a lot of flesh color faces, but we're also gonna keep it authentic to like my true style of just doing like green faces, orange faces, just all around to represent humanity in general, smiling together. Our passion is different. I mean, not different, but it's, it's, it's not a traditional passion. We don't, we don't have an everyday paycheck. And then when they click or when you do make it or when you start getting invoices and in, that makes it better. But I think most of us that do this with no money because we love doing it, you know? To all the parents out there, keep your kids' drawings. My mother did a great job encouraging my art, but also keeping all of my old sketches. I can go back 26 years to find my earliest drawing. It lets me know I came a long way. <laughs> so this is definitely just the beginning of my mural journey these first three years. You're gonna see some more smiles around the world. That's the goal, to spread smiles and joy through other inner cities where it, it'll have a bigger impact on the youth. I waited for this day, you know, in the city of Detroit as an artist, to be invited to do this, you got a, uh, a little kid from the east side of Detroit painting smiles, and it, it, I don't think it could get any better than that. You know, dreams come true for real. So keep an eye out for Phil's work and make sure you see some of the great murals that are down here at Eastern Market.